Okay, sixth grade, lesson 26. This is using manipulatives to reduce fractions and then adding, subtracting mixed numbers. Adding and subtracting mixed numbers. But we're not going to use manipulatives to reduce fractions. I'm just going to show you how to do it um, mathematically. Okay? So, from the very beginning, let's pretend like we had a pizza and I had eight slices. Okay? Now, this would work good if I had eight people because then eight people would get a slice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? But sometimes we have less amount of people, and so um, the best way to reduce something is we're actually, instead of having eight slices, we're going to make the slices smaller. So what I mean by that is not smaller pieces, but smaller cuts. So instead of me cutting and making eight slices, I'm going to cut and do less. No, that would be oh. making more slices. So you're going to have to erase. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eight slices, okay, and let's just say y'all ate four of them, okay? So that would mean y'all ate four-eighths of it, right? How much of us are there? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show you something. Oh. Let's, let's just say there's four. Okay. So everybody got a slice, okay? But this time, okay, instead of me cutting into eight slices, I'm only going to cut it into four. four. So, if there were still four people, this is going to be a fight because there's only two slices. Yeah. If we're only eating half. Yeah. Okay? So, here there are four slices. Here there's two slices. So, as I want you to see is that this is four eighths, but it means the same thing as two fourths. Yeah. It's just cut differently. Right? Mm -hmm. This one only has four slices. That one had eight. Okay? But we're going to even go another way. And instead of cutting it into four, we are just going to cut it one time, which would give us a half. They're all the same. Okay? This is reducing each time. Uh -huh. Okay? We're actually taking eight slices and only cutting it as little amount of times as possible. That's reducing. Okay? Uh -huh. So, stay with me. Four-eighths is two-fourths, and two-fourths is... One half. There's a way to do this mathematically and not illustratively. Okay? And that is by dividing. Okay. Remember, multiplying something causes more. Dividing something causes less. And because we want to reduce, reduce means to make less. Because we want to make less, we're going to have to divide. Okay? So we're going to take this 4 eighths and I'm going to divide it by 2. So that means both of them are divided by 2. Okay. 4 is divided by 2, which equals 2, and 8 is divided by 2, which equals 4. four. Okay? Then I get this number, but it can reduce more. A number can go into both 2 and 4. What number? 2. 2 will. So I'm going to have to divide by 2. Okay? So 2 divided by 2 is 1, one and 4 divided by 2 is two. 2. Okay? Now, we took two steps to get to this number. But we could have only taken one. Watch what I do. I have four eighths. What number, try to think of the highest number that will go into both four and eight? Four. Four. This time I'm going to divide it by four. Four divided by four is one, one. and eight divided by four, four is two. two. Okay? So by thinking of the highest number that will go into both of them causes you to make, you have to do less. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we reduced it. Is anything, will a number go into that, both of them? No. Only one. Yeah. One you don't consider. So, yes, you're right. Okay? So, this is considered reduced all the way. Yeah. Okay? So, that's how you reduce a fraction. Now, let's try this one. Two-sixth. Okay. What number will go into both two and six? Two. Two. That one happens to be pretty easy. Divided by two on both of them. Two divided by two is one. Two. Six divided by two is three. Very good. So, one third, will a number go into both of those? No. Okay? So that is reduced all the way. One third. And you always, any to any fraction, you always want to reduce it all the way. Anytime okay. you get an answer, you always have to reduce or you'll get counted off. Okay? Okay. So, all right. So, let's skip down because I taught you a little bit of the lesson last time in lesson 25. 
um, about how to add and subtract mixed numbers, but we are going to do two of the problems instead of four. Okay, so stay with me. It tells me that Rory lives two and three-fourths of a mile from the lake. So here's her house. Here's the lake. Okay, so from here to here, it's two and three-fourths miles. Okay, so she rides her bike from home to the lake and then back home. How far did she ride? What would I do? That would be four. Okay. Multiply it. Multiply? Right. Will you? Well, I guess I could. Mm -hmm. Multiply it by what? Two. Yeah, but let's think of a different way because you haven't learned how to multiply mixed numbers yet. We'll do that another time. Okay. What could I do? From here to you here is two and three-fourths and two and three-fourths. You could add it. You could add it. So let's do that since that's what we're talking about right now. And it, I'll teach you the multiplying another time. Okay? okay. So let's do this. How do I multiply fractions? That's six-fourths. Yes, I only do the numerators. So three plus three is six over four. Remember, these numbers stay the same. And then two plus two is four. four. Now, you have to... there's a problem. What's wrong? It's an improper fraction. Improper. So I have to take the 6, 4 and make it proper. So this is 6 divided by 4. 6 divided by 4. 4 will go into 6 one time. 4 minus 2. 2. Now, will be 5 and... So I'm going to take this 4, and now no longer 6, 4, so I'm going to take this 4 plus this, so that would make five, five and two fourths. But can I do mile. something else to the Reduce two fourths? Reduce it? Yes, I can. Reduce it. What will go into both two and four? Two. Two will. Two will go into two. Two times. One time. One time. Two will go into four. Two times. Four divided by two. Very good. Yay. And that is our final answer. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take her five and a half miles to go to the lake and back. Okay. Yep. Last problem. It tells me to subtract, which this isn't much harder. It's just a subtraction. They want you to see a subtraction problem. 5 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 1 eighths. Okay, what am I going to do? Subtract my fractions first. 3 minus 1 is 2. two. Bring down my 8. Okay. 5 minus 1 is 4. four. Okay, that's our answer, but can something else be done? Reducing. Yes. What will go into both 2 and 8? 2. 2. So we'll divide 2 divided by 2, and that will give us 1. And 8 divided by 2 would give us 4. Final answer, 4 and 1 fourths. And that is lesson 26.